Hello everybody, my name is Mark. I'm going to show you how to make a random city generator using WPF in C Sharp. Um, I'll be using Visual Studio 2012 and we'll go ahead and assume that you have um, a similar IDE set up for yourself. What we're going to do is we're going to create a random city for use in games like Dungeons and Dragons. What you're going to go ahead and we'll have an XML file that has a bunch of cities. We'll go ahead and generate a random number. We'll go ahead and match that random number to the ID of the city. And that ID will go ahead and let us populate all our information that you see on the screen right now. So basically this is what we're going to end up with as a finished product. So when you click generate city, ID 1, we go 3. So it'll be random each time. I only have three cities in there just to be able to show you how it's going to work. So what we'll do is we'll actually have, you know, our code behind, which sets up our UI. Then we'll have our city view model, which is, you know, how we're going to see all our information in our city. And then we'll have our XML, which is going to store all our city information. And we'll parse that data. So let's go ahead and set up our solution for our framework. All right, so let's go to File new project make sure it's a WPF project and let's just go ahead and name this WPF underscore random city gen so basically you know here's our our basic solution ready to go over here on the project itself, let's go ahead and right click and let's add four folders. Let's go ahead and add a models folder. Let's add a view models folder. We'll go ahead and add an images folder. And then we'll add a resources folder. Basically, I always like to add these four folders when using MVVM, which is the framework that we're going to use. So, you know, we have a model, we have a view, and then we have a view model. Um, in this project, we won't actually have a model. There's no true data to model because that data is actually being modeled in our XML file. So that's what the resources folder is for. We'll go ahead and stick that into our resources folder, and that will contain it. Um, we will have a view model, we'll have a city view model, and this is what will communicate between our view and our, you know, our view model. So basically, our view model grabs, takes the information, and goes ahead and displays it in the view itself, which our view is main window, of course. So basically, there's our framework all set up. Um, in the next video, we'll go deeper into WPF. C sharp using MBVM. Um, I want to create a whole project and basically give you guys the basics. You know, I'm I'm assuming that you already know something about programming or are interested delving deeper. This is going to give you an entire project that works from start to finish that you can either do more research on to learn more, or give you kind of a new idea on oh I can do it this way and expand on the idea I've already come up with. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.